Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna do a little update on the LED lamp that I took apart last weekend and I have had a lot of comments on how to proceed with that and I have proceeded with that and I found a lot of errors and we're gonna go into that. Also I've been cleaning up and I found this stack of electronic thingies, a couple of routers and another router and a CD-ROM drive and I was gonna throw those out but I thought ah, let's take them apart before we throw them out so we're gonna do that in this video as well. Right now let's go to the LED lamp and see what's going on. In my last video on this uh, we took this electronic out and I was pretty sure that this transformer which turned out to not be a transformer but some kind of a noise redundancy injectors thingy. Uh, I found that that was short circuited. It turned out that I disordered it and measured it again and it was okay. Nothing wrong with that one. Then someone said that the diodes over here, this is a bridge rectifier, and they could be bad. They are SMD components. They, luckily, they are big. So I detached those and found that actually two of them was bad. The two ones in the middle have, were short circuited. So I replaced those. Luckily, my cousin had a set a sample book, which was really cool. So here I have three dead diodes. Of that kind, it's an M7, yeah, M7 diode, and we replaced two of those, and we tested again and blew another diode and figured out that this, um, not this one, but this big diode further down in the circuit was also bad. So that one was replaced also, but at the same time we measured there is this, it's a MOSFET. N MOSFET inline, what? No, oh, I forget what what it's called. That's also short circuited on two of its leads. So, um, and I did not have another one of those. So, I have ten of these coming in from China, so that we can burn off a few of them without having to order new ones. So, so far, I've checked this one. I've replaced three of these. Uh, the reason why I've replaced three of these is because we tested it when the when the diodes had been replaced, we tested it again, and it blew another diode. So, and it's a hassle every time you have to check those because you have to desolder it and measure it and resolder it. I'm waiting for this one to come in from China, so we, I'm gonna pack this away. We also tested the LEDs. They have a AC power supply that they brought, and we made a very quick little rectifier, bridge rectifier and with a capacitor and made uh, 70 volts come out of that and put it in uh, to the diodes and they lit up very nicely, very bright. So the diodes is very good. It's this circuit that is really bad. So that's an update on that. I'm gonna be putting it away because um, it's taking up table space. Okay. Here is the boxes that I was gonna throw out. Uh, this is an old D-Link DWL slash 810 plus. And I've never really used this for anything, but um, I, I think it was a Wi-Fi extender or something. I thought it was very cool and I got it and I never used it. So I'm gonna take that apart. Uh, this is another D-Link router. Just, uh, no, I think it's, oh, it might just be an access point wireless access point router, even still have the plastic on it. This is a from the my internet provider many years back. I was provided one of these, uh, Cypress City here in Denmark, and well, this one never came back to them. So I'm gonna take that apart. I'm, I'm just taking them apart to see if there's anything inside that is worth saving for another day. The boxes are rather nice too, but now I can't keep collecting stuff. So I just want the small stuff and the rest will just be thrown out. So let's um, unscrew some of this, see what we got. So let's just do the access point first. Looks like we have a wireless antenna right there. 
there. We can use that for anything, so I'll just peel that off the lip. Oops, easier said than done. Oh, they, they stuck that on there, good. Okay. What do we have in here? We have some have some diodes, might want those. We have some wireless connectors here. That could be a good one to have too. Disorder the antenna and the noise reduction something thingy right there. Disorder that. Might be able to save that. Maybe this LAN connection. And there are some components down on the on the system board that we might have a look at too. So I'll just unmount this thing. It's even gold plated and everything. Looks gold plated. Nothing on the back side. So I'm gonna be desolder some of the good stuff on this. Some of the stuff that I actually know what is, all the other stuff, I'm probably never ever, if I even needed it, I wouldn't know where to search for it. So this is the internal antenna and that's the external antenna. Just desolder it down here. There we are. One antenna gone. Might as well take this as well. So what else do we have? I want this plug. It's, they break. Well, I ended up desoldering a lot more than I had intended to. But the, this board is more or less empty. Uh, there was still, still a pull-off board. It was sitting on this connector which I also took out and that's because I found that an air gun air heater it was a lot more effective to get off the components from these SMD things so I'm just gonna show you that okay it has been heating for a little bit so I'll start taking off some components so that's that board. It almost takes longer to pick up all the pieces than to disorder it. Uh, this becomes very hot though, so I'm just gonna put this away for a bit. So everything from that box went into this box. Even the small little pieces that I am never gonna be using. The chance of me ever using any of these are not that big. I just wanna save them anyway. So let's go, let's take this one next. Underneath some rubber feet, I found the screws to unscrew the box. It's probably going to be containing pretty much the same stuff that I just took out of the other one. I don't want to desolder all the little tiny stuff this time, I just want the big stuff. There's a nice big thing there. I might take that. Although it looks, it's it looks very much like all the stuff that they had on this board, they crammed onto this board.
that board is it's not empty I just took off all the bits and pieces that look just a tiny bit expensive all the little bits and pieces uh, this one I don't know if I really want to mess with this thing like this is never gonna be used again so this is all the components of that box there's a lot of them they actually just blow off with the hot air gun this is one of the things that I actually from time to time need a little switch I'm gonna take the big pieces put them down there and I'm just gonna scrape all the components down into the box ready for the next one here is the next box uh, open it up and there's, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Mm. I have no idea if I'm ever gonna be needing any of this stuff but it's, let's just take it apart anyway. This comes right off. There is some plastic things. Uh, I'm not sure that these are able to take the heat so some of this I'm gonna try and disorder. Also this switch. I'm gonna get that out. Um, before I start heating it up on the, it seems seems that it has been hot on the back of it I'm gonna detach the good stuff from this board too okay this board is a lot more difficult it actually starts melting the board itself before the solder really releases probably gonna have to turn on the soldering iron again and desolder this in in hand too bad it was going really well I have desoldered a lot of the stuff on this board and I'm not gonna take the rest. Uh, I would never be able to put a processor like that on anyway. Uh, a lot of the other ones that this one more or less just fell off so I'm, I'm taking that. But I'm gonna call that uh, successful even though there are still some gadgets on it. It was a bit harder, it was as if the soldering uh, tin was different or it has some kind of a coating to protect it so probably a lot of nasty vapors I've breathed but I got this little stack of different stuff There's some nice connections uh, for tele old telephone connections there's three of those there's the network connection so I have two of those there's no lights in this would have liked them if it had the light diodes there is the switch, which still sounds right. There is some uh, capacitors. What this is, this is 2200 microfarad, 25 volts. Doctor, 150 micro Henry. Yeah, we have some very small inductors. Tiny, tiny, tiny surface mounted conductors. The little switch, another one. Diode or transistor. Here's a little diode. Yeah, there was two of these on the board that I did not remove. Uh, they just didn't want to leave there and I can't see myself ever being able to use this for anything. There was a little transformer as well. Nice. And this little thing, which I have no idea what is. Could look it up. I'm probably not ever gonna be needing it, so. Well, we're gonna do the same thing, just gonna Put everything into the box for later sorting out. There was some glue on that board too and the glue got really... that had no problem leaving there whatsoever. So some hot glue melted and I got hot glue over. So the CD-ROM just to bottom of it. Listen to this. I have no idea what that is. I 
I took the CD-ROM drive apart and found the sound in the motor here that spins the disc around. Apparent Apparently it's something to do with the balancing of the CD. Otherwise there is mostly a couple of motors, always fun to have laying around. And this one has a nice mounting to it. This one is probably pretty useless, but whatever. Uh, otherwise it's most plastic and things with plastic to make the thing go around. There's a couple of nice things on these boards. There's another switch, always good to have switches around. Yeah, there are some connections and this cool little thing. A switch that goes both ways and make connection plus minus something. I'm gonna try and see if I can get that off. And also this one. This is one of the things that you often break when you're taking something apart. Uh, so it's nice to have another one of those laying around. And there's another one down here, a different model one. That's where this goes into. So I'm gonna try and desolder that too. I managed to get this one off, which is pretty cool because, as I said, they has a tendency to break when I try to get the cables out of it. So I have a replacement one here. I also tried to get this one out and I have it out but it broke. It lost a pin, a pin connection down here and I'm not gonna bother trying to fix it so that's crap. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff on the board here but mm, I'm really tired of desoldering for today so I don't think I'm gonna bother with the rest. So these new good things, this one and the magical thingy. Have a nice little thing here for could be a fan plug or probably mostly a fan plug. I'll switch, nice little jumper thing to put on a jumper onto a PCB, light diode and single capacitor. It was just it was this last thing that was on this board, so I took it off too. Another board and then there is this engine thing let's get that off and there's a switch down here some kind of hmm, I want that too I'm curious to what this is it's probably some some balls spinning around inside this weird thing yeah so I must admit I didn't get as many cool things that I had hoped for I did get an entire box full of surface mounted and other stuff like that and the things was just going out so now if I if I need a modem connection plug I got one. Thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.